so there were some indentation errors so i have removed them and uh, this is our main dot py code i have pasted it in the notepad plus plus so we are good to go now so let me explain once again what we did so we added one more input called school id and also we created another form which takes school id as the input so you can see school id as the input on submitting it will look into the data store and it will pick up the respective school name that is each school has particular school id so if you give a particular school id then it will give the school uh, it will give the school name of the school which has that school id so this is the code so on submitting after entering the school id we submit so i have asked to go to this action that is slash search so this i have handled here as usual so it will go to this class that is search school so in this what it will do it will get the school id then what i have done i have used a function called query you can look uh, about this function in google app engine documents so what it will do this is our entity or a model user defined model which is a subclass of this model class so what it will do it will query for this school that is entity it will query the whole entity like you can think it as an as an sql table so if you query a, a, a sql tables like select star from a table you get all the table data so that's what we have done here so it will we have queried all the data in school entity and it will be in the school variable we can say object so after that what we have done we don't want all the data we just want the name of the school which has the school id given by us okay so we need to filter it filter is another such function so after we what we have done we have used school dot filter inside that we used school dot school id is equal to the given input if this matches then we will get the row that is there will be a school school id so we only since we only want the school name I have used a for loop because this is a query object and we cannot print a query object so because we just want a data model so i use for loop for i in search query self dot response dot write the school name is percentages i dot school name okay so let's see how this works so let's say one school name Martha school let the school ID be 5k 49k 5k 49k so details are entered into the data store let's query let's search the school with the help of school ID 5k 49k so on submitting i need to get saint martha high school as you can see it will go here the school id that is 5k 49k will go here it will be stored in the variable called set name and then since we have already stored the data that is saint martha high school and 5k 49k it will be in this entity so that we are searching that we are seeing like checking the condition whether both are equal if both are equal then we print the school name the school name is saint martha high school we need to get that okay you can see the school name is saint martha high school because we already have that data in the data store So 
so as you can see this is a school id and this is the corresponding school name so what we have achieved now is we take the input school id and return the particular corresponding school name so that's how you query the data store using google app engine you used python language so if uh, anybody needs a code or something uh, please use the comment section thanks for watching uh, please subscribe